guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's Try It Tuesday. And for those of you that don't know, Tuesday's where we try new things. She's she's smirking at me behind the camera. Uh, <clears throat> and also for those of you that don't know, the wife and I have been on the keto diet for the past um, several weeks. And so we're trying to look at more keto alternatives for snacks and stuff. I know there's a lot of other people that are doing the keto uh, diets too. Quest is a brand that we've kind of found um, to have some decent alternatives. Uh, we've done the protein bars, is kind of what got us into it, but we wanted to try some of the other snacks too. We've got some of their chips in a different video, we'll probably link that up here, along with the, the protein bars and stuff. But this video, we've got uh, the full line of cookies that they have, and then they also have some protein bars, but these are chocolate covered, or I don't know something what I mean. covered. They're definitely different. Grab one of the other ones just to show the difference between them. Oh, yeah. So this is kind of like what the normal ones look like. They're like a true power bar or like a protein bar. These are the hero bars. And they've actually got like a like a cardboard base in the And they're the like, packages. they're coated versus not so, coated. Yeah. But same line, like same along the same, along the same line of carbs per bar. So mm -hmm. it's not... I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. But the reason why we've been looking for alternatives is keto is very difficult because it's cutting out all carbs and sugar, like even natural sugars such as found in fruit and uh, milk and stuff like that. So what you look at is net carbs, which is carbohydrates minus uh, fiber and then some sugar alcohols, but I'm not going to get into that. Quest is very good about having low net carb stuff, except for one of these cookies, which is... I want to say like nine for one whole cookie. We'll do the cookies first, then we can do the bars second. So we've got a chocolate chip cookie, peanut butter cookie, oatmeal raisin cookie, and double chocolate chip flavored cookie. So we'll just try the standard tried and true chocolate chip cookie, which is, we've got to do the calculations since it doesn't have them on the front. Looks like three net carbs. Or no, seven net carbs, I'm sorry. Still a lot, but if you really need a cookie, if it's good, you'll see. Yeah, I mean, these are all alternatives. They're not, they're much better for you than just a standard cookie would be. But you can see, still got big old chunks of stuff in there. Looks like a chocolate ch chocolate chunk cookie more than anything. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> It's like a chewy Chips Ahoy. If you ever had one of those. Yeah. Almost identical, just like a larger version of it. That's really good. No weird texture or anything? Mm. I mean, chewy Chips Ahoy are kind of weird. <laughs> they are kind of weird. Because they're underbaked. I could do those. Kind of row. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this is peanut butter flavored. And it is five net cards, five or six. I'm doing rough math here. I don't, don't. I'm not. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. But you need to figure it out for yourself. So they have sugar alcohols in them. Yes, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because usually it's only a partial amount of sugar alcohols in processed foods. It's like a standard peanut butter cookie. Looks a little orange around the edges. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as peanut buttery as I would prefer, but it's not bad. It's a soft cookie though. They look real soft. Mm -hmm. I can deal with that. It works. Yeah. And we've got oatmeal raisin. This is about nine. Yeah, I think this one's about nine. Well, they do say soft and chewy on the front. Yeah. Now this is his Ooh, favorite this good favorite cookie and yeah. normal cookies, right? Yeah, it's, well, it's got real raisins in it. That's probably why the net carbs are so high, because raisins are really high in sugars. you're driving your cookie. Now I can tell 
that all three of these are like a not I would say fake, but like like their Diet Coke alternative, you know, kind of deal. If I want an oatmeal cookie, I'm gonna eat an oatmeal cookie. But if I don't want to feel bad about eating oatmeal cookie, I'll eat that. Yeah. And so this is double chocolate, which I think is around five. That hard. It looks like Play-Doh. Yeah. The front of it. Like the side facing you looks like mm -hmm. Play-Doh. Kind of tastes like a dry brownie. Not bad. Not one I'd get again. Alright, so rank your cookies. I'd probably put chop, double chocolate chip at the at the bottom, peanut butter, oatmeal raisin, and then chocolate chip at the top. Okay. So, I mean, the chocolate chip almost tastes like a chip, chewy chips away. Right. Fair enough. Well, we've got the Quest Hero bars, which we've got blueberry cobbler. Vanilla caramel and chocolate caramel pecan. They're like filled. Maybe that's what's so different about them. They've got like. Yeah. The other ones are just like a salad bar, aren't they? Like the normal Quest bars? Yeah. These look like they These have a protein. filling. These are a lot more complex, but this is only four net carbs for this whole thing. They're pretty hefty, too. Yeah. Oh, there's no cardboard. It's just the chocolate. Oh, the chocolate's that thick? So it's got like a caramel layer. Which one was this? The pecan? Blink once for yes. <laughs> Chocolate caramel pecan. That's really good actually. These are a lot. If, if this is the standard, they're better than the protein bars. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, they look more decadent and more like a like a candy bar. Rut row. <laughs> big rut row. But that's the whole point of this video is to find no, out I know. Is. So we got vanilla caramel. I just do without. That's what you have to do. Because all of these things, the first ingredient is whey protein, which would put me in the hospital. Yeah. Not as coated. Sounds wafery. I don't know what they're making these little crispy things out of, but they kind of almost taste like little Rice Krispies. Did the other one have them too? Mm-hmm. I didn't like this one as much. But it's still, it's still not pretty, bad. It's still pretty good. It's better than the other ones. And the blueberry cobbler. I think all of them are four. Four net cards. Yeah, that's four and this is four. Excuse me. We see the middle of that one. Crunchy with like a blueberry layer. Mm -hmm. It's got the thick blueberry taste too. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
doesn't have enough of it in there for them to say blueberry. This is natural flavors. <laughs> it's good. I'd probably rank that one over the... What was this one? Vanilla caramel. Vanilla caramel. Oh, really? And um, this one would be clear winner. Chocolate um, caramel pecan. They're all much better than the protein bars. More like an actual candy bar, right? Yeah. Because it's got like the, the crunch and the... The, and the gooeyness. Yeah. Gooey. Anyway, if you're on the keto diet, check them out. Or just want a low-carb snack. That too. Uh, we got most of these, I want to say like a high-end grocer, but you can find uh, some of the bars. The cookies we had to kind of search high-low for, but the uh, the bars you're finding more and more like Kroger and Tom Thumb and Albertsons and stuff like that. So, uh, your general grocery stores. I don't know where you guys live, but check them out. I know you can find a lot of them on Amazon too, so if you're interested, check them out there. Anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments about what we ate today or keto in general or how we're doing go ahead and leave us a comment uh, feel free to like this video guys if you like it feel free to share this video as you see fit and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and until then have a nice day